Hey, did scientists really create a living dragon in China? Or is this just another internet creepypasta style hoax? Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the old email box has been filling up with letters from people just like you this week asking me about this story coming out of China that claims scientists there have been able to create an all new living dragon. Kenny Tron, Luke Don, and Unknown Joanne were the first to submit the story. Unknown Joanne wrote, do a video on Chinese scientists successfully clone dragon in China. Joanne, I have to be honest with you. I am a person who is in that camp that believes that dragons have never really existed. They're just a myth. So with that said, I find it hard to believe that scientists in China can create something new of something that never really existed, if you get my drip. But on the other hand, you know, the pictures that come with this story, they have really captured my imagination. So let's check it out. Looking around the internet, I see this unusual story is getting spread around quite a bit. One of the more popular videos on the topic comes from Cahil's life on TikTok. You see, early last year, they had found a dragon corpse. It was in the Tai Mo Shan Mountains. It had been there frozen for over 10,000 years and still had preserved scales, claws, and skin. Now, according to Khalil, what the scientists did was that they took the DNA out of the corpse dragon and then injected that DNA uh, into geckos, bearded dragons, and Komodo dragons. And then what they ended up with by doing all this is this new species of dragon. All of this was found out because it was leaked in an email a hacker intercepted that was being sent to the government. The hacker's email also reports that one of the dragons, one of the newly created dragons, developed some kind of strange venom. And when this dragon bit one of the scientists, well, that scientist became rabid and zombie-like trying to bite the other scientists. Luckily, none were bitten, but they're holding the scientists in a locked safe room. Could this be how the zombie outbreak happens? Guys, I don't know how we went from scientists creating these cute little dragons to suddenly becoming a zombie story that could be the beginning of a zombie outbreak in China, but there you go. I mean, if you want my opinion, what we have here is a slam dunk fake-o-rama on our hands. But hey, what I think is not important. What's important is what you think, okay? So tell you what, this is what we're gonna do. When I say go, what I want you to do is yell out either real, fake, or unknown, okay? If you think scientists really did create a living dragon, then yell out real. If on the other hand, you think this whole thing is just a big hoax or rama, well, you yell out fake. And thirdly, pay attention to this one today, uh, if you don't think I found a solid smoking gun answer, then you yell out unknown, okay? Now, if you can't yell, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, and then come back here, play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. Are you ready? I think you are. All right, let's go. Boom. <laughs> All right, did you make up your minds and vote? Good, because right now I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what we got here, whether we basically have a fake or an unknown. And uh, let me take a look at this real quick. Well, guys, you know I'm never happy unless I get a smoking gun, right? But sometimes, you know, you just, you can't do it. And that's why in this particular case, I have to inform you that I did find a smoking gun, and it is fake. As it turns out, the whole thing was cooked up by a mixed reality artist from Oregon who goes by the name Cabell Adams. In an interview with Public Radio, Cabell confesses that he likes to mix reality with fantasy. I'm creating art where parts of my art are real. I take a picture and on top of that picture, I might overlay some 3D 
pictures, maybe a 3D model, to try to fool people. So this piece of art is partly real, but it's also partly fake. So I call that mixed reality. If you look at Cabell's social media pages, you will see all sorts of examples of how he mixes reality and fantasy. He's also the artist who came up with the famous Chuck E. Cheese photo that went viral not long ago. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.